quantum entanglement. If you've heard the term, you've probably associated it with phrases like spooky action at a distance, or the weirdest thing in physics, and you'd be completely justified. This phenomenon keeps physicists awake at night, including me, and for good reason. Let's dive into why quantum entanglement doesn't just bend our intuition, it shatters it, and how it continues to challenge our very understanding of reality itself. Imagine flipping a coin while your best friend flips another coin across the room. Whether yours lands on heads or tails has absolutely no relationship to how their coin lands. An obvious statement, right? Now, picture those two coins being quantum particles, say electrons. If they're entangled, then when you observe your coin and see that it's landed on heads, your friend's coin is instantly and unavoidably tails. Not a split-second delay. Instantly. Even if she's in another city, another country, or even on the moon, the result will remain the same. It's as though these particles whisper secrets to each other across space. Except experiments show. They don't whisper. There's no communication between them. Not through waves, signals, or anything our minds can wrap around. Let's rewind the clock to 1935. Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen published a paper meant to prove that quantum mechanics was incomplete, what became famously known as the EPR paradox. Their argument? If quantum mechanics were true, it would outright violate certain principles of locality. That's the idea that objects far apart in space cannot instantly affect one another. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance because, let's face it, it's spooky. To Einstein and his colleagues, this suggested quantum mechanics had gaps, hidden variables locked away not by mystery, but by ignorance, yet to be uncovered through scientific rigor. Einstein's protest sparked a long-standing debate, but when John Bell entered the scene in 1964, everything tilted. Bell introduced what we now call Bell's Theorem. Here's the gist. If there are hidden variables controlling quantum behavior, then there are specific mathematical limits nature cannot cross. Experimental tests could then verify whether quantum mechanics behaved under these limits or shattered them. A battle between our classical intuitions and quantum predictions. Spoiler alert, quantum mechanics won, and it wasn't even close. Repeated experiments showed violations of Bell's inequalities, endorsing entanglement as a genuinely non-local phenomenon. So, how does this work? By now, you might ask, do we even understand entanglement? Physicists rely on wave functions to describe quantum systems. When two particles become entangled, their wave functions merge into a single state. Measuring one particle collapses this combined wave function entirely, instantaneously dictating the state of its twin particle. But here's the kicker. Everything we know in classical physics, every model, every rule, doesn't permit effects that seemingly ignore space-time. And yet, nature insists on doing just that. Let me clarify. No faster-than-light information transfer happens here. Entanglement doesn't allow signals to breach Einstein's universal speed limit. What does happen boils down to a correlation so perfect it defies every principle we use to explain how things interact. This is profoundly different from transmitting information or data. It's like a cosmic magician performing a trick. Except the deck is constantly shuffled by rules written by no one. Now physicists, notoriously stubborn as we are, often turn to new lenses and analogies to crack difficult puzzles. Some theorists relate entanglement to threads weaving the fabric of space-time itself. If you're scratching your head thinking, is she saying quantum entanglement builds space? Well, hold that thought. Let's go deeper. In 2013, a groundbreaking conjecture emerged from Maldacena and Suskind, two modern physics heavyweights. It's called ER Eels EPR. Translation? Einstein Rosen bridges, wormholes, are possibly equivalent to entangled particles. Imagine two particles connected not by some invisible tether, but an actual geometrical wormhole. Are wormholes spooky? Definitely. But the idea provides a way to incorporate entanglement and geometry into a unified framework. Does this settle the debate? 
not remotely. Researchers are still arguing over equations and implications. I remember the first time I grappled with the Bell experiments. It was during my graduate work. I wanted, so desperately, for there to be a simpler explanation, something intuitive. I combed through the math, over and over. Suffice to say, the universe does not care about our intuitions. And honestly, that's part of the magic. Some truths aren't clean or digestible. They're wild, raw, unapologetic about their complexity. But entanglement isn't simply an ivory tower pursuit. It's foundational to massive fields of research like quantum computing. Take quantum cryptography, techniques exploiting entanglement to guarantee unhackable communication channels. Or quantum teleportation, where information about a particle's quantum state transfers instantaneously, a sort of blueprint, allowing reconstruction elsewhere without ever being physically sent. That's right, it's not literal teleportation, but mind-bending nonetheless. However, scaling these processes or making them robust for everyday use remains problematic. We're decades from large-scale breakthroughs, yet entanglement threads persistently fuel optimism. There's one critical piece I haven't addressed yet. What does entanglement actually mean for our reality? In many interpretations of quantum mechanics, entanglement directly challenges classical determinism, the notion of universe functioning like clockwork. In the many worlds interpretation, for instance, entangled particles split realities every time they interact. Does that sound like science fiction? Maybe. Others prefer interpretations where measurement itself generates reality, a version directly dependent on your existence. Compare this to the pilot wave theory, where entanglement stems from particles surfing deterministic hidden waves beyond traditional physics. The jury? Still very much out. Here's the irony. Entanglement pushes against our mental limits, but through this cognitive discomfort, it expands potential answers. It's a paradox, as though challenging reality's fundamental puzzle only broadens the frame. Every equation answered spawns two bigger questions. So ask yourself, why does nature operate like this? Why weave infinite mystery into the very fabric of existence? I pose these questions to you, not as a physicist wanting closure, but as someone eternally fascinated by the possibility we'll never know. Now, before you dive into an existential crisis, I encourage you to subscribe and join this journey of unraveling the world's strangest phenomena with precision and wonder. This channel's new, and your engagement isn't just appreciated, it's what makes independent, authentic exploration possible. Drop a comment. How would you define reality after hearing this? As always, stay hyper-focused and keep challenging the unimaginable.